Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, today we're continuing with the engine build for the Corvette. Obviously I've got the LS1 uh, in my Corvette. I decided to uh, get an upgraded harmonic balancer uh, for my build. Obviously I'm making more power and I do some road racing with it. Um, so I figured it was worth the extra money to get the ATI uh, super damper. I went with the 10% underdrive uh, version. And obviously, uh, mine's still a streetcar as well, uh, so I've got the uh, pulley for the uh, air conditioning uh, belt as well. <clears throat> so for this video, I'm just going to run through how um, the dampener itself is assembled, and then I'll do a separate video uh, for installing it on the car. So uh, it's fairly simple once you get all your parts and pieces laid out. Uh, I definitely encourage that you read through the instructions that they provide. It's fairly, <clears throat> excuse me, fairly detailed. Uh, but just to give you an overview, you've got three uh, pieces. So you've got the uh, outer uh, pulley assemble, assembly. Uh, obviously, it's got the uh, rubber dampener on the inside. That comes assembled as one piece. Then you've got the center hub. And then you've got the, uh, like I said, the air conditioning accessory uh, pulley. And this is conveniently stamped uh, for engine side. Um, that will help you uh, get it aligned properly. Uh, if you had it flipped the wrong way, then your belts aren't going to line up. <clears throat> so one thing to note. So on the face of this pulley, uh, you've got nine uh, bolt holes. And all nine um, bolts will be used. However, on the face of the, the hub, I'm sure this hub probably fits... Uh, some other applications, uh, there are 12 bolt holes. Um, so it's important that you get these two lined up properly so that you get it aligned with the proper bolt holes. Because uh, you'll notice some of these bolt holes are larger than others. Uh, some of them we won't use, and then some of them are larger because these long bolts uh, will actually pass all the way through the center hub and bolt and that's what attaches the rear um, air conditioning pulley <clears throat> so the way that you get them lined up properly so on the face of the hub I don't know if you can see that there's a um, an indent there's an offset hole it's labeled uh, on this sticker so that you can find it on the other side I don't know if you can see it or not there's a um, that same indent right it lines up on both sides um, then on the face of the hub, there's a tiny, I don't know if there's any chance of getting this to focus for you or not, but there's a, a corresponding mark uh, there. So you line up those dots when you slide the hub in. And I will mention that this is a very tight press fit. Um, <clears throat> mine clicked together okay. Um, but you may have to get the bolt started and help uh, walk the hub into this pulley assembly. So now that we have those two pieces uh, together, we'll go back and talk about the bolts for a second. <clears throat> so you have six of the shorter bolts. So that's going to be the two, right, two outer, two outer, and the two outer. The center bolts, the three of those, will be these longer bolts. And like I said, they're going to pass all the way through and sandwich this uh, outer pulley with the inner um, air conditioning pulley and they'll pass through the hub. So it all locks it together. The other thing worth mentioning um, that I wasn't aware of until I started reading through the instructions. So all of these bolts use a Torx Plus uh, bolt head. Uh, so this is a, a TP40 um, Torx bit. So the Torx Plus bits are different from your standard Torx bits. Uh, which are probably more common. Uh, I got digging through my toolbox. I've got three different sets of regular T40 Torx bits. But not a single one of the Torx Plus bits. Uh, these will fit but you can see this kind of loose in there so 
they state in the instructions they don't recommend that you use a regular uh, Torx bit. It might work, but you run a good chance of destroying uh, the inside of this bit. And then if you ever have to get it out, uh, it's almost impossible. Um, <clears throat> so before I actually torque mine down, you're only torquing them to 16 foot-pounds, uh, which conveniently they tell you on here for the T40 bolts, uh, 16 foot-pounds. But before I torque them to spec, I'm actually going to get a set of Torx Plus uh, bits just so that I have them and obviously I can use them uh, for this project. So plan ahead. Uh, you may not have those in your toolbox and that's really what should be used uh, when you tighten these bolts. <clears throat> so to get us started, just kind of hold everything in place. Do a couple of a couple of bolts. Now these short bolts, they already have the blue Loctite uh, pre-installed on them. The longer bolts uh, do not, <clears throat> so we'll put some blue Loctite on those uh, when we run those through. There we go. Just put those in to help hold this together. <clears throat> so now we'll flip it over, and then like I said, this is stamped uh, for engine side. So it would go uh, this way. And then you'll get it lined up. You can see that as you rotate it around, you'll be able to see all the way through it. Um, and you can see where those three bolts will come through. I'll also mention three of these are larger holes. Those are not used. So you have to make sure you line it up with the three smaller holes that correspond with the bolts uh, for this kit. Uh, so that's just kind of a quick overview uh, of how the pulley assembly goes together. The other thing I'll mention, uh, like I said, I'm not going to torque these to spec at the moment until I get the proper bit. Um, sometimes you have a, it's kind of tricky to hold this in place if it's not on the motor while you're trying to get these uh, bolts torqued to spec. The other thing you can use, um, this is typically used for oil filters or fuel filters, that sort of thing. Um, but you can wrap it around the pulley because you don't want to put this in a vise or something because uh, you don't want to damage the face but then you can hold it this way uh, that'll help hold this while you uh, torque the bolts uh, to spec so that tip uh, may save you a little bit of hassle okay so that's how the uh, ATI super damper uh, three-piece uh, pulley hub and AC pulley uh, go together. Uh, I hope this helps. Don't forget to uh, buy you a, a Torx Plus 40 bit um, before you start this project. That way you've got the right bit and you don't damage these bolts um, because these dampers are rebuildable and for the price they should be. I'm really surprised they don't just throw that bit uh, into the kit for you. That'd be kind of nice, but uh, it is what it is. So I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for tuning in and look forward to seeing you next time.